At Consumer Reports, our technicians tap, touch, and turn tablets to make sure you get your money's worth. This interactive buying guide will arm you with their expert knowledge to pick the model that best suits your needs, so click any chapter to skip around. Subscribers to our website can access our specific brand recommendations and exclusive product ratings. There are hundreds of tablets on the market. They run on one of three operating systems, Google Android, Apple iOS, and Microsoft Windows. Your tablet choice may be based on the operating system of other devices you already own. Android tablets offer the biggest variety of hardware from more than a dozen different companies. The downside, Android tablets have varying degrees of quality, from weak to top rated. Apple's iPads have access to a million apps, are easy to use, and in our surveys have proven to be more reliable than other brands, but they also tend to be more expensive. Windows tablets are known for their powerful operating system, but the Windows App Store doesn't have as many options as the others. Tablets come in a variety of sizes. While the standard size is 8 to 10 inches, both smaller and larger models are becoming popular. Larger tablets give you several more inches for watching movies, visiting complex websites, or using multiple pages at a time. We test a tablet's battery life by surfing the web over Wi-Fi until the battery dies. We found most tablets last 9 to 12 hours. All tablets offer Wi-Fi. More expensive models can also access cellular data networks such as 4G for $10 or more a month. That might be something you're interested in if you need to use your tablet when you're not on a Wi-Fi network. But our survey shows the majority of people only use Wi-Fi. If you're going to store photos, videos, and music on your tablet, you'll want at least 32 gigabytes of memory. You can't add additional storage to iPads, but you can to most Android tablets. What do you plan to use your tablet for? If you're going to watch a lot of movies or streaming video, you may want a larger one that scored very good or excellent in our display tests. If you mostly plan on reading books and magazines, you'll want a tablet that can stand up to the glare of the sun if you take it outside. If you're a gamer, you should be able to play most games on most tablets, but for the best experience, check our ratings to find out which models tested excellent for performance. To check performance, we run a test that uses highly detailed moving graphics like the ones you'd find in a game. The smoother and more detailed the graphics, the better the performance. Tablets are good for handling basic tasks like web surfing, word processing, and email, especially if you don't want to spend the money on a pricey laptop. You can get some of the features of a laptop by adding accessories such as a Bluetooth keyboard. And there are also detachable tablets, which we test in our tablet and laptop categories. Our experts say for heavy-duty word processing, databases, or spreadsheets, basic tablets probably won't replace your laptop. Market research shows price is the most important feature people consider when shopping for a tablet. And you don't have to spend a bundle to get a great tablet these days because the quality of lower-priced models has gone up. The models in our ratings range from $50 to $1,300, though the majority of tablet buyers spend $100 to $599 for theirs. You can often get a Consumer Reports recommended model for under $200. A growing number of tablets are made just for kids, and many run from $50 to $200. They often range in size from 4 to 9 inches and are more rugged than grown-up tablets. Most kids' tablets come preloaded with content geared toward children, plus a range of parental controls. Some let you block or monitor specific apps or websites, and some even let you specify how often and for how long kids can use it. Although kids' tablets often come with games, ebooks, and more, the amount and quality of the apps can vary depending on the manufacturer, and some preloaded apps may only be free trial versions. We are a not-for-profit, pay for all of the items we test, and accept no advertising. Thanks for your support.